So we go to the field, we have our charger, we have our power supply, and the first thing you do is you connect the power supply to the charger. And then you can plug in the power to the power supplies. And that will start the charger. Then you want to connect, always connect the large ones, uh, wires first. You don't want to connect the balancing connector first. So large wires first and last. I'm not even going to push it in all the way. Balancing connector. Let's put it on the correct one. There's only one that's going to fit. And now I'm going to demonstrate that this configuration will indeed charge the battery at 20 amps. So, I've got a charge current of 20 amps set up. I'm connecting a 6S. This happens to be Turnigy, the way I program this, but Turnigy 6S, 5,000 milliamp hour, 4C is my charge rate uh, for this, this pre-programmed channel. 4C is 20 amps. I hit enter, hold it twice, I'm going to see the battery charging after I accept that. I see the charge current go up to 20 amps. Our input voltage is 23.4, got 4 or 5 amps now going out to the battery. We've gotten all the way to 9 amps. So we've cleared that 11 amp limit I talked about before, and I'll demonstrate that next. So with this 20, with this 24 volt nominal input, the charge current is ramping up, and we are at the limit of 20 amps. Okay, and then it's going to take a pause here and check the cells. And it's going to start charging again. It's totally normal for this charger. 20 amps. So 20 times 24, we've got 480 watts output. So I'm going to stop the charge. I'm going to disconnect the power to the power supplies. Okay, and then I am going to switch over to a 12 volt input. All I need to do is just move this clip over to that other wire. Okay, I'm on 12 volts. Power back up. Bad connection there. So I'm at 12 volts input. I'm going to try to charge it at 20 amps. Now let's see what happens. I think it will go up to about 11 amps output. Because at 12 volts input, it just cannot output more current. Eight amps, ten amps, and there you have it. Eleven amps. It's just not going to go any higher than eleven amps. And so it's got twenty-four volts output to the battery, but it can only go eleven amps charge current. So there you have it, a working power supply for this battery charger that lets the charger run at its highest limits if it needs to. 
So earlier I showed that you would need a Sharpie or some kind of a permanent marker for this project and you didn't need it just for that spacer that I used it uh, to put the washer in. What you really also need it for is to label these terminals. So you've got minus, plus 12, and plus 24 volts. So if you want a 12 volt output, this would be positive, which is red and your black would go here on negative. If you want 24 volts, you would have your red here on the plus 24, black on minus. So really, this is a dual output supply. 12 volts at 41 amps, or 24 volts at 41 amps. The amps do not double, because these are in series. So you'll have two cords with two, two connectors for the power supplies and the other ends go in the power outlet. But you'll consume an entire outlet using these. So what I like to do is get one of these T adapters. So when you go out to share the space with other people using power supplies and battery chargers, you can just use the one the one outlet in the duplex receptacle. You heard the sparking when I connected these alligator clips to these terminals and actually I had it connected when it was sparking. I had it connected here to this 12 volt uh, what? Jeez, I can't get it on there. This 12 volt wire like that and it wasn't a good connection. To make this a lot easier what I would do and I'm not going to do it in this video, but what I would do is I would pull these off and store them somewhere and buy a couple of female bullet connectors that are this size and solder those on the power supply. I would maybe do one, two, and three just so you have 12 volts and 24, but then you could just take these and plug them in and everything would work the first time every time.